So once you've created your Google Classroom, you might want to personalize some of the settings so that it works best for you and your students. In the top right corner is the settings wheel, which I'm going to click on. Um, and I can always change the class name if I need to or add any of those optional descriptors. My class code has an ambiguous character in it. This first one, is it an L, is it a one? Who knows, especially because our students are gonna be working on this on their own. We wanna make sure that we have no ambiguous class codes. So I'm actually gonna reset the class code. And I did that just by clicking on the arrow at the right um, and selecting reset. I also had the option to display it, which would make it really big if I was screen sharing with students. Um, I can copy it so I can paste it correctly. I can reset or I can disable if I don't want people to be able to join. So now I have my brand new class code with no ambiguous characters. The next setting I can adjust has to do with the class stream. Right now it's set to students can post and comment, which I may or may not want students to do depending on the culture of my class or what I'm asking them to do. Um, maybe I don't want a lot of distracting posts from students. So I can choose either students can only comment um, that means that they can only comment on posts made by me if they're not able to post, or only teachers can post and comment, which is what I'm going to choose for now. Classwork on the stream is a really important setting. I know that a lot of students, because the stream is the landing page, were feeling really confused last year as they looked at that stream and it felt really congested and confusing. So I'm going to choose actually hide notifications on this classwork stream. So that means that any classwork that I post is only going to show up on the classwork tab, and that's gonna be a lot more organized for students. I really, really recommend that you choose hide notifications for classwork on the stream. Um, this is show deleted items. That means that only you could view them. I'm gonna leave it off. Guardian summaries, um, I can decide to turn on or off. Uh, all guardians would receive a summary of their students' work and class announcements. Um, it depends for you uh, if you want to use your Aries gradebook to communicate with families or not. I'm going to leave it off for now. If you are using Meet, Google Meet, with your students as part of your Google Classroom instead of Zoom, you can generate a Meet link for your class, which is visible to students on the very front page of your class. Once I've done that, I can see it here. They can't join that meet without you, um, but if you are using Zoom, you don't need to do it. So I'm going to turn it off actually for my class. So now students can't view it and they don't need to know about it. Um, if you are using apps that integrate with Google Classroom, or if you're using Google Classroom as your gradebook, this section is going to be very important to you. Um, most gradebooks are weighted by category. Most times people want to show students an overall grade. If you're using a grade book in Aries as well, then you'll want to make sure that this matches like the categories that you have match what's in Aries. Um, so I'll just say like classwork, 40%, participation, 40%. And uh, summative is 20%. Um, so you can decide, of course, whatever your gradebook is. This is just an example. And then I'll click save. Uh, so now I have updated my settings in Google Classroom to be what I want for students. And this is just letting me know that the Meet link isn't visible.